Four days later, the British cross the Hudson and capture Fort Lee. Washington's army is reduced to but a few thousand men. With morale low and enlistment set to expire, he retreats across New Jersey into Pennsylvania. All that is stopping the British is the Delaware River and the coming winter. Convinced the rebels are all but defeated, the British spread out in numerous outposts throughout New Jersey. Washington must rekindle his army's confidence. He tells his men that if you will consent to stay only one month longer, you will render that service to the cause of liberty and to your country, which you probably never can do under any other circumstances. Thomas Paine writes a second pamphlet, The American Crisis, which circulates around campfires and steals the resolve of the patriots. On Christmas night, 1776, Washington makes good on his promise. He moves his forces across the ice-choked Delaware River. It is a desperate and dangerous maneuver, but it works. His men gather on the opposite bank, and Washington launches a surprise attack on Trenton, New Jersey. The Battle of Trenton is a stirring American victory. Nearly 1,000 Hessians are captured, along with six cannons and enough supplies to outfit several American brigades. Seven days later, Washington presses his advantage, outmaneuvering the main British Army and striking the garrison at Princeton. He wins another victory and captures nearly 200 British regulars. With his army rejuvenated, Washington marches to Morristown and settles in for the rest of the winter. There is almost constant skirmishing between patriots and British foraging parties, forcing the New York City British-controlled garrison to rely on supplies brought by sea.